Okay, problem number 20, the last of the multiple choice questions. It says the accompanying diagram shows part of the architectural plans for a structural support of a building. P-L-A-N, <laughs> isn't that clever, is a rectangle and A-S is perpendicular to L-N. So in other words, we have this rectangle P-L-A-N. That means four right angles and uh, L-A is uh, parallel to P-N and A-N is parallel to L-P. Right? And we also have AS is perpendicular to LN. So this segment AS here is perpendicular to LN, this segment right here. So the first thing I'm going to do is mark off all the right angles. That's a right angle, that is a right angle, and that is also a right angle. There's also a right angle here, and a right angle here, and a right angle here, but I'm not going to mark those off just yet, and I think you'll see why in a second. Okay, now that we have the right angles marked off, let's mark off some congruent angles. Like I said, LA, this side, LA, is parallel to the side PN, right? Uh, and LP is parallel to the side AN. But more importantly, uh, more relevantly to what we're going to do, LA is parallel to PN. So that means this angle, angle PLN, is congruent to LNA. They are congruent angles. Those two are the same. And then we also know that angle PNL, this angle here, and I'll mark it with two little angle markers, is congruent to this angle here, which is angle NLA. All right? Okay, now watch carefully what I'm going to do next. Here I have a right angle, a green angle, and a red angle. So here I have a right angle, a green angle, and this angle here should be a red angle. Okay? Which should make sense because 90 plus whatever this green angle is plus whatever this red angle is should equal 180. And then here we have the same kind of situation. We have this 90 degree angle, we have this red angle, and then here we should have uh, a green angle. Okay, and what we have now is three similar triangles. Okay, and I can't believe I didn't uh, do this when I read the problem off originally, but let's talk about what we're actually trying to find. Uh, we're trying to find which equation can be used to find the length of the side AS. So we're looking for some sort of similarity relationship here that will uh, describe AS in terms of the other sides. And I think uh, a good way to do this is to draw three triangles and label them appropriately and then just go through these similarity statements and see which ones match up and make sense. So I'm going to draw one, two, three, and then I'm just going to copy paste this. So let me get my red angle here. There's the red one, the black angle. Oh, poor choice. I will put that as a right angle. And then the green angle, we'll just put that right here. All right, so I'm going to use that as the reference, and I'm going to do a bit of copy-pasting right here. Let's copy that and paste it. So that's the second one, and let's paste it again. Now we have three triangles. So let's go through and label these triangles now. So this first triangle we'll just call LPN, right? So we'll label it as LPN, LP. N. It's mirroring uh, this first triangle right here. It's mirroring that one. Okay, now the second one we'll pick, uh, we'll just pick this triangle here, ASL, right? We're working with this triangle, ASL. So the right angle is S, we know that. The red angle in the triangle ASL is the letter A, right? There's that. And then the green angle in ASL is L. There we go. Okay, so we've done this triangle, we've done this triangle, and now we'll do the last triangle, ASN. So ASN. The right angle again is S, the red angle is N, and the green angle is A. So there we go. Now we have these three, tri three triangles and we can start matching up statements uh, with what we have given here. So the first one says, let's see, it says LS over AS. So LS, right, so that would be 
this side here, LS over AS. Okay, so the bases match up. That's good. We're good so far. LS and AS match up with AS and SN. Okay, now you might say, okay, you know, AS is over here, but check it out. We started with LS on this triangle, so LS to AS is AS, and it should be NS or SA, and it is, so that is our statement, and, and we're done with the problem. But let's go through and see why the other ones are incorrect, okay? So let's go through and find out, you know, this is our correct problem, but let's find out why these are incorrect. So the second one says AN and LN. Right, so we have AN, this side here, is similar to LN, right, LN. So we've got these sides matching up, AN and LN, and then it says AS, right, so it could be this one. Uh, well, it has to be this one because we started with this triangle, and it should have NP, but it doesn't. It has LS. It's talking about this triangle, which is not, it's not this one, and it's not this one, so, you know. The, the statement is not correct. So that one's not correct. Let's go with this one, AS and SN. So AS and SN, okay? If we have a similarity statement relating to its own self, that means we're talking about this AS. So this AS and this SN. So we start with this one, go to this one, and we have AS again. Well, it can only mean this one. The only thing it's similar to is NS, but it says LS, which is just no. So that one's just wrong on so many levels. And number four, it says AS and LS. So LS is here. So we're starting with this AS and then this LS. That's okay. And then it goes to LS and SN. And, you know, LN, LS and SN don't even match up. They're not corresponding sides. So that's incorrect again for many reasons. And that is our correct answer. All right, that is the uh, multiple choice section. Next, we will do the free response.